Hello, and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode number 116, brought to you every Friday at 12.05 Eastern Time. I'm your host, Anton. We have with us today a special guest, Hayden. Welcome to the show. Uh, always great to be here, Anton. Ah, um, sorry, I was supposed to be uh, actually at your place today, but um, I've got a, a busy day, as it turned out. Um, so we're going to do this as we often do uh, across yeah, the, the uh, magic of the Internet. We we're going to blow people's minds by um, uh, revealing that we are actually quite geographically proximate to each other. Well, uh, that said, um, I have a couple of a little thing to show after our five minutes. So if you have a minute to stick around, um, I think it's a fun little thing that we've done. Uh, and in some, I think folks will like it. But for those that were looking for an actual Apex tip, we've got five minutes, Hayden. Yes, and uh, so uh, true to form, Anton, you, you um, rose to a promise that you gave two episodes ago, and uh, you over deliver. Ah, uh, yes, two episodes ago. That was the making the most out of a nav bar, um, and we were talking about making uh, a breadcrumb um, work based upon your nav bar entries. And our loyal viewers will remember that um, you wrote a plugin that loyal, worked loyal viewer. I think that's a singular. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you wrote a plugin that works as um, needed with the one deficiency that um, it uh, couldn't be installed on page zero. That's right, which is a big, big deficiency. <laughs> and it's right. an Apex bug, but still. Um, yeah. Yes, so, so not, not your bug, an Apex bug. Uh, now we have a plugin that does do this uh, and it does something else as well. So uh, let, without further ado, let's go ahead and um, yeah. talk through it. Yeah, and so I think the, the, the other nice thing about this is you don't have to do anything uh, really to, con well, I guess you do have to do a little bit to configure it. You just need to make sure that it only shows up on normal pages, if, assuming you want it to only show up on normal pages. Most people, that's where their breadcrumbs are. They're not on dialogues. But other than that, here's the plugin. Um, it's the uh, super breadcrumb plugin. I'm going to go ahead and download this. Are you going to make this um, available on Apex Star World? Uh, I will. Yes. I'm, right now it's just available here in this rando folder. Um, we've got a link to it that uh, we'll put right up, but it's my, my GitHub rando um, uh, files and uh, we'll, we'll put the link here on the screen. Um, but this will give you your, um, your plugin. Oh, we've already started the clock. So, wow, this is really, um, so. Uh, so I'm installing your plugin titled Super Breadcrumb. Yes, it's, region it's a region type plugin and region type plugins give you lots of capabilities, but they're also, it, it also doesn't require you. In the last plugin, you had to copy and paste a, a, a query, but in this case, um, you just have to co copy and paste a, um, uh, the, the code to put the breadcrumb only on normal pages and not on your login page. So if we choose the super breadcrumb, um, and right um, uh, annoyingly, the help disappears as soon as, there we go. Yes. Uh, so the help here is um, very uh, helpful. Um, I'm actually going to copy and paste this. So it's uh, recommending that I um, have a, uh, a condition set on this breadcrumb so that it only shows up, service like condition, uh, function body. So it only shows up uh, when it's not a modal page. And I will correct this. Um, my uh, login page in this application is application 101. Okay, so there we go. Um, so we've got that. And then the other thing you want to do is you want to make this, um, put it in the breadcrumb bar, which you've done, I think. And um, the template to title bar. Exactly. And uh, is that it? That's it. That should do it. And so uh, here is um, the sample application called Customers. And if I refresh my page. So now we're going to have two breadcrumbs because we've got the breadcrumb, the original breadcrumb, and the one we just put in. Um, right. And so, so this top one is the um, uh, breadcrumb we just put in. The, uh, the issue, of course, is that um, uh, if you want your, uh, your page zero breadcrumb to match the way it currently works, you, you will have to update your page titles to match what, what is currently in your, um, uh, in your breadcrumb. So uh, in, in this instance, 
my page title is customers. And I'm not quite sure we've got the, where the and customers dot is coming from in this particular case. Um, uh, there's something in the page that's, uh, that's adding that in, but um, it's a little surprising to me that, that, that we have that. It's a, uh, Let me just check these settings we have on the breadcrumb. Uh, right. Um, yeah. So um, maybe hmm, I, uh, it should be doing a substitution on that uh, products dot, but um, there's, I don't know where that's being set. So well, maybe we should have a live demo. Yeah because the title doesn't have that in it. So I'm not sure. But uh, before we um, uh, get lost on this particular uh, detour, uh, you've added a, another feature that um, I think people will be impressed with um, for how the, um, that, that transforms the, the purpose of the breadcrumb. Right, this right now, when you just install it, it bases it on your navigation menu of your, I, oh, it, I understand. Well, that's what it does, yes. <laughs> it's based on the navigation <laughs> yeah. menu, that's where those are coming from. Yeah, um, so if, if I wanted to change this, I'd have to edit what is uh, my navigation menu. Right, that's your, nav so your navigation bar. But you can also do it based on the actual page view history if you want. So this will actually give you a breadcrumb of the pages that you go to. Um, and so, um, every page that you click on, every normal page that's not a, a modal, will do it. So let's go ahead and save that and just take a look what happens. So now as we walk through our application, um, you can see these are the pages that you've, you've navigated to. And as you step through each page, it yeah, will... And if I were to illustrate the use case, um, so it, th this here below is the um, pre-existing breadcrumb. Uh, as I go from customer product use to Carlton Closets, the pre-existing breadcrumb completely resets the, the breadcrumb to give a different context. And I'd lose the ability to just easily go back to the report I was just on. Yes, um, and, and this um, has a number of settings. Right now it's set to only show the last five pages you visited. But if you click on any of those um, breadcrumbs, it will rewind to that. And so you can rewind to organic farms, but it also keeps the history that you had been before. And you can set the number of levels that you want to show. Um, so um, that would be configured here. That's right. Um, so, and I appreciate the the judgment <laughs> <laughs> implied by wanting to go to hundred. Yes, I, I agree that um, having a hundred a, a history of a hundred different um, uh, pages that you visited would be a, uni a UX uh, nightmare. <laughs> so, um, so um, that's our five minutes. Uh, I really like this um, this actual history. Um, uh, I think there are a few caveats when it comes to this, uh, this plugin. Um, it works well, but if you start digging into the code, it's, it's a little bit sloppy and it's, it, it's like many of these things. I would write it completely differently if I were to start from scratch today. Um, but it, uh, it, it's very functional. Someday I may, I may rewrite it in a way that I like better, but um, you can certainly use it now. Yes, uh, uh, and I, I've already started using it in some of my applications. Um, the uh, just just to clarify the confusion that we had earlier on in this episode, if you choose um, application navigation menu and you're dissatisfied with how it shows up here, you'll have to change the navigation menu. That's right. Yes. And if you choose um, page his page view history and you're dissatisfied with how it shows up here, you'll have to change the page title. Right. Yes, because the page view history is based on the page title and the other ones based on your nav bar. Um, and the idea is that you can delete the breadcrumb because none of that information is being used and it is uh, pointless. That's right. That's right. Um, excellent. Uh, so have have fun with this if uh, um, if if you want to, especially if you want to use this whole history thing. I think it's a very cool um, little approach. Um, uh, so I had one other uh, little after um, after tip uh, thing to show, um, and actually I'll go ahead and uh, I'm am I sharing my screen? I think I am. Let me um, let me bring up the right thing here, move things around so that you're not looking at that. Um, uh, here we go. I just wanted to share with folks Apexia.world. 
Um, Hayden, have you seen apexia.world? Uh, you have shown me snippets. So at, uh, at Insum, we created a, a trading card game, as it were. Um, and let's hope that I'm not, uh, I'm going to have to get a verification code. Uh, here we go. It was sent to my text messages. Oh, boy. Um, so, uh, and I still haven't received it. You have to click send. Um, I have to click send. Oh, yeah, that's why I was thinking it would have already just. Um, ah, there we go. Okay. Nine four zero eight zero three. All right. Not supposed to share that code with anyone. Um, so here we go. We have these trading cards, um, and you can uh, you can take a look at the cards themselves. They're kind of kind of cool. Um, and we actually have a set of physical cards. You. Um, you can get a pack of cards um, for yourself that we we at Insum uh, have have. They you get a pack of five, and you can indicate if you have them. When we were at K Scope, we had a uh, uh, a little giveaway. If you got a certain number of cards, you could um, uh, you could get a, a gift certificate. But you can see the cards that you have um, uh, somewhere. Um, there's a way to see the cards that you have, and um, but. Uh, um, anyway, it's a cool little thing. It's fun to, to look at. If there's somebody that wants to um, uh, get a set of cards, um, all you have to do is actually install this plugin that I just did and then send an email to marketing at insum.ca with, um, with your physical mailing address and they'll send you a pack of cards. The first two people that actually do that install this plugin and then send an email to marketing at insum.ca. Uh, we'll send you back a, uh, a set of cards. Um, so wow. um, that's it. Uh, and uh, are, are there rules for how to play this game? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, they, they, maybe to, to be uh, determined. Um, but uh, they, they, the cards are kind of fun. Um, they, uh, they look pretty good. Um, uh, yeah, there you have it. So, uh, actually, here we go. You can see I can see which cards I have, I, which I have cards I've completed, and so forth. Um, so, those are the cards I have in the realms. So, um, oh, um, we got a comment from someone that, that we should address. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, perhaps um, th this is uh, perhaps we did address this, and, and Fernando no longer needs an answer to this. But the um, <laughs> despite our confusion, we did figure this out. The <laughs> end product thing came from, was because it was referencing the navigation menu. Right. And so I don't know. Use, yeah. I don't know what's going on in the navigation menu that, that caused that. But uh, I mean, uh, it, it makes sense in the context of the navigation menu. So if you choose um, uh, in the breadcrumb source, if you choose application navigation menu, it's not a huge surprise that it's, it's taking the title that you have from the navigation menu. Right. And so we, did, we didn't solve it. We just switched to the breadcrumb source to page view history, in which case it then looked at the page title and stuff. Right, right. Um, yeah, and overall, I think it's, a, you know, like I said, a, a cool little utility. Um, feel free to use it. Um, I, it's, it's pretty well tested, uh, but, um, but if I were to do it again, I would, I would write it differently. So don't, um, don't bother telling me the code is ugly. Uh, yeah, I already know it. <laughs> so, um, all right. I, that's pretty much it for me today. Hayden, anything, anything else for you? No. Um, I wish everyone a good weekend. Yeah. Enjoy your Friday evening. Bye, everyone. Bye.